Well, just on the, on that, obviously he's got Usyk coming up as well. Um, I've heard a few different things from you. It seems like you changed your mind as to how you think that fight's going to go. What's, what's your feeling right now? Feeling right now is that what I've seen from Usyk in the last two fights hasn't been a lot. But then I had a little think about it, brainstorm, that maybe he's not showing us everything that he can do. Maybe he's just been playing around with the likes of Chisora and mm -hmm. um, the other guy he fought, wow. Weatherspoon. Um, maybe he didn't try and even win them fights properly. Maybe he was looking bad on purpose so he could get that big payday and then do his, do his good boxing on that night, which has been done before. A lot of fighters have, have looked terrible in fights to get other big fights mm -hmm. and then rose to the occasion and won those big fights. So I've got a sneaky feeling that um, Usyk's better than he looks. Um, and on, on the night when he, when he feels that he needs to perform, that he will. Bit like myself really i can fight a bum and have a, a shit fight with him but if i fight the best in the world then i rise to that occasion and, and have good fights with them what's good family so mash the like button subscribe and lick off the bell so we just heard there from your man's tyson oh scary no listen listen scary yeah you're dreaming right now there's no doubt about that absolutely dreaming you're wishing you're praying you praying, you sucks, was playing possum. You best believe, I've heard from people close to the situation, close to Tyson Scary, yeah? One of my insider dons, 100% confirmed. Scary and all of his bare knuckle dons have been cooking up. They've been going down to the forest, going down to the local forest, getting all the herbs, getting all the roots, all the root weeds and whatnot, and cooking up some bare knuckle magic to try and make AJ super sleepy and make you sucks rock hard for AJ. One of them ones. Yeah, one of them libido ones. One of them boxing libido ones, 100%. They're trying to get Alexander you sucks is boxing libido rock hard for AJ. That's what I've been hearing. And that's why your man's Tyson Scare is saying, oh, oh well, you know, he's playing possum. He be looking bad. Listen, your man's scary, he wishes. He praying AJ and you sucks playing possum. Because guess what? If Usyk's playing possum, that means Usyk is going to play, do a massive job on AJ, which means, that means, Fury can go off and fight David Big Toe Hay and be let off the hook of the AJ versus Fury undisputed. So that's why your man's Fury is, <laughs> is, <laughs> is projecting his magic onto the realities of life. Oh please, please magic, please bare knuckle magic, make AJ sleepy. Make your second rock hard. That's what you'd be doing, 100%. You heard him there. Doing the most praying. Doing the most magic. Casting all those different spells. What we know is, no fighter can look as bad as you sucks looked. It made me laugh, you know. All this, I've had quite a few people actually tell me that, Oh, YB, you sucks is the best fighter in the world ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did that. He did that. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I've been delusional. Let me go back and check the tape out. I watched the Tony Bellend fight. The Tony Bellend fight, yeah? Tony Bellend, no good. He's alright, but he's no good in the main. A no good looking ass dude went in there and until he ran out of gas, and I understand that, I do a, it's a fair thing to say, yeah, but why be if my granddad had a minge, be, it'd be my gran. I get that. But seriously, for the first six rounds, it was 50 50 in there. There was nothing in it. And my thing to you is, if you sucks, goes 50-50 with the bell end, a man who has no genetics, if that makes sense. He has no athleticism, no natural gene codes. And, and it's someone Usyk's own size. Usyk went 50-50 with a man, a very average individual, who was his own size. And it was 50-50. If AJ, who's much bigger, much more powerful, much longer, a natural athlete, if Bellend, who's none of them things, can go six rounds comfortably, 50-50 in there, some people had Bellend winning, but I don't know about that, but it was 50-50 for sure. And also, combine the fact that we've already seen what happened with Chisora. Chisora, who has... The heavyweight element proved that that fight was 50-50. So if an old heavyweight, who everyone else stopped, 
Fury stopped him. Dillian White stopped him. David Hay stopped him. David Hay, the cruiserweight, may I add? Oops. And by the way, David Hay stopped a much better and younger Chisora than this one. Oops. As did Fury. And Fury's a boxer. People rate Fury. And so do I to an extent, but it makes me laugh. People rate Fury as a boxer. Guess what the boxer did to Chis Chisora? Jabbed his nut off for him. There was no dispute in that. Yes, Fury was running, but he jabbed his nut off. Right off for him. So I have to give Fury credit for that. Because if you're going to jab someone, if you're going to run around, at least jab their nut off. Guess what? You sucks, who did the same running around, didn't jab no one's nut off. Chisora left that fight. I've never seen Chisora look so fresh. Not a mark on him. And Chisora even said, he ain't got no, he ain't got no power. Chisora even more or less admitted that, yeah, they, uh, Eddie Hearn put some money in my back pocket not to murk him. Not to press him too hard. So, doing the maths here, he, he went 50-50 for six rounds with a dude who's extremely average. You're now going in there, the weight above, who you've all, where you've already proved you was no good. Let's be, let's be honest here, yeah? Fair enough. When Tyson Fury fought Chisora, yeah? If someone told me after that performance that Fury was holding back or Fury was playing possum, I'd get that, you know. I can understand how someone could watch Fury 2 versus Chisora and say he was holding back. He was playing possum. I get that. Because all he did was dance around or backstep and jab. So it's easy to conclude that, yeah, man, I think Fury could have put a few more right hands in. He could have Lennox Lewis it a bit more. You know what I'm saying? Step in and back left hook to the body or whatever. You know, you know what I mean? He could have he could have put his foot down a bit more. For sure. I get that. But guess what? There was none of that. There was none of that autopilot. When you watch Chizora versus Usyk, yeah, there was no autopilot where Chiz where Usyk, sorry, was just playing with him and scoring points and dominating rounds at will. Every single round Usyk won was a battle against an old man who David Hay knocked out. Dillian White knocked out, Fury stopped. Everyone who's anyone stopped Chisora. You sick? You want me to believe that he was playing possum? Come on, man. If you're going to play possum, it never looks that hard. Ever. Ever. If, to, be, to be good enough, yeah, to play possum with Chisora, you ain't working as hard as Usyk was. Like I said, Fury versus Chisora 2, that's... A playing possum performance where you're just in absolute control. Chisora couldn't do anything in there. That's the facts. That's play possum. Not, oops, it's 50 50. I can't dare hold my feet. Chisora didn't hold his feet once, he's getting mauled in there. And Chisora at points wasn't even throwing. In fact, in that fight, I mean, if you believe that I was a real Chisora, what's Chisora, yeah, versus Dillian White, too? Very clean, very clean shots he was throwing. That Usyk fight, I thought there's no way this is real. Chisora was throwing these big... And I'm not saying that Chisora was renowned for throwing short Mike Tyson hooks, but he was being almost blatantly, or what's the word? He was being almost obtrusely wide. Like he was purposefully trying to be sloppy. Like he was purposefully trying to be obvious. I'm so, Every single shot Chisora threw, I thought, why is he throwing so wide for? All he had to do was turn it, turn it over a bit, and there would have been landing. But he, it was all, he was always purposefully trying to miss. I'm so, I don't believe it myself. When you think about Chisora versus Takam or all them fights, Dillian White two, or even Dillian White one, he's never been as sloppy as he once again as he was against Usyk. Never. He was doing these weird rabbit punches where he'd half hold. You sick and start rabbit punching. I've never seen Chisora do that. I've seen Chisora on the inside with Dillian White or Takam tucked up and digging. I've never seen him doing his rabbit punching rubbish. It was almost, it, again, it almost looked like Chisora thought, okay, I'm being paid not to work, so I'm, but I'm being paid not to work, so I better give the fans something though. So when I get him in a clinch, I'll just do a few rabbit punches. So at least it looks like I'm trying to do something. I can't make it too obvious that I'm not trying to do anything. Because to the average fan, they may look at that and think, oh look, Chisora's going for it. But really, any fan who has any IQ knows that them rabbit punches do absolutely nothing. They're actually, if I was training a fighter, I'd tell them, never throw them. If you're in a clinch and you've got one arm free, don't even bother. It's not worth your energy. 
Not worth it at all. You don't get no yield. Anyone who's box knows that when you're in a clinch and people do them one-arm shots, they're worthless. Absolute waste of time. No point. But yeah, every time Chizora was in that position, he was doing them little rabbit punches. My point is, people, Usyk showed us nothing. Even if you disagree and say Chizora wasn't paid off, fine. Even so, what did Usyk do that was that special? Special enough for you, man, to say that he was, oh, he's not been showing what he can. Or I've had people tell me he's the best cruiserweight and possibly the best heavyweight ever. I thought, I'm all for hype. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for it. If I saw something special in that man, I'd say, yeah, man. I mean, I even had one dude telling me that U6's better than... Or U6's got better skills than Floyd Mayweather. I thought you are having a laugh. You've got to be having a laugh. Got to be. When you think, for example, yeah, I consider... Well, we know for a fact... We know for a fact... It's fair to conclude, yeah, that... Canelo Alvarez is better than Chisora, right? Let's conclude that. Canelo Alvarez is better than Chisora. We saw what Floyd did to Canelo. And by the way, that was reversed. Floyd was old, Canelo was the bigger man, and the younger man. And did you see what Floyd did to Canelo? Made him look like a fish out of water. So for someone to tell me that he's better than Floyd, when your man's Yusek goes in there with the older Chisora, the worst Chisora. Why wasn't Yusek schooling Chisora like he, like Floyd did to Alvarez? Oops. That just shows you that Pul Yusek wouldn't know the first thing about Floyd Mayweather level skills. If he did, he'd have made Chisora look silly in there. He didn't. He was down bad. It was 50-50 in that fight. It's called a spade a spade. He weren't making nothing look silly. He made it, he made it like a good night's, good night's work. Hard night's work. That's what he made it look like. That's the facts. So, I hate the fact that I've had to even do this video, but it's the truth. I've heard, it's not just Fury. I've heard quite a few men say, oh yeah, but he, he playing possum. Do you really think people can think that far ahead? Oh, I'm going to fight Chaz Lee or some, I forgot the guy's name, but the one with Fortress Aura. Oh, I'm going to fight this guy. Yeah, let me go in there and play around a bit. Oh, I'm going to fight Chaz Aura. No one. Tell a lie. The only person who can really do that to an extent is Floyd Mayweather. The only guy I've seen go in there and completely control a fight and almost do the bare minimum. Really, that's the only guy I've seen be able to do it. Truthfully. Just completely take the person out of their element. More so in the latter end of his career though. Not so in the, at the start of his career. It was quite hard work for him. But towards the end when he was fighting older people and the, the general quality of boxers had deteriorated he was able to do it when you think about the oh yeah alvarez's the alvarez the guerreros the bertos all them ones they was no good to be fair but either way they weren't much worse than chisora was they let's be real now let's call a spade a spade floyd was able to control that level of opponent that that top level journeyman type of opponent all them man guerrero and them man they're all like chisora's level that world level journeyman Don. That's Chisora. Did you man? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the way some of you man have been carrying on. You've been trying to tell me that. Oh yeah YB. He was. Usyk was dominating Chisora like that. Come on man. Get serious. He didn't dominate a thing in there. Just look at Chisora's face as well. Didn't even know he was in a fight. Meanwhile, everyone else had knocked the dude out. David Hay. Cruiserweight, by the way. Oops. How did David Hay manage to knock out a much fresher Chisora? Because the thing is, for me, it's not like... Chisora in that Usyk fight was actually very sloppy. So people can say things like, well, why be? The reason David Hay caught Chisora was because they were both exchanging. They were both going wild. But guess what? Chisora was going just as wild. His chin was in the air as ever in that Usyk fight. Usyk hit him clean loads of times. Didn't do anything. Didn't, didn't stumble in. Didn't rock him. Didn't put him down. David Hay iced him. Dillian White iced him. Fury jabbed his nut off. All them different dudes did different things to arguably better Chisora's. I have to admit, 
That Dillian White Chisora was the best one I've seen. And he was actually winning it until the judge robbed him, but or the ref robbed him, but whatever. The point is, that was one of the worst Chisoras I've ever seen in there with. That Chisora was like the one from Monaco. Bad. Usyk had the worst Chisora and couldn't do naffle with him. Come on, man, get serious now. Usyk is bang average. And a bang average Usyk, at best, the best outcome is a points decision win for AJ. That's the best outcome for Usyk I'm talking about. The best thing Usyk can hope for is AJ goes full Rob McCrappen and just decides to outbox him. Ruiz 2 style. That's the best outcome. God forbid the worst outcome. The worst outcome is somehow AJ's and his team have turned it around and they've been locked into the YB's videos and taking all the free tips and he goes in there, elbows in, chin down and just marches forward and just bangs away like a metronome. Because you best believe quickly Usyk will be in his shell. Yeah? After a few of them straight left hands bounce off AJ, bounce off the guard. He gonna shell up quickly, trust me. He gonna end up like a heavy bag. Yeah? No doubt. No playing possum. You Listen, you you, 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 you Usyk fans wish you playing possum. How about that? You, you best be wishing that. Any dons out there who are putting money on Usyk, you best be praying. And I think that's probably what it is. The reason people are talking about playing possum and he's acting bad on purpose, the reason people are saying that is because they got money on Usyk. So I can't blame you, man. If I had money on Usyk, I'd be saying the same thing too. Because you best be. <laughs> he best be playing possum. And in fact, that in itself actually proves that that actually proves how bad Usyk's been. Yeah? The fact that everyone's saying, oh, he's been playing possum, that shows you how much he's sucked. Because you're saying, oh, uh, surely that can't be the real Usyk. He must be playing possum, which, in it, again, in itself shows you, really, how much his own fans think he sucked in them fights. Because if he looked good in them fights, they wouldn't be able to say, oh, he's playing possum, because he'd be looking good. So even, what, what we're going to find out is, on Saturday, we're going to find out either Usyk is as good as you might think he is, and he suddenly shines bright and he, he's been playing possum, or the YB's correct, and he was never no good to start with, and, and he didn't do nothing, which is my base case. My base case is we see something like Joseph Parker 2. Usyk gets the size and the, the, the length and the explosiveness just too much for him. And he, I don't see Usyk being willing enough to commit and put his own chin on the line. I think he'll be scared like Parker was and not want to come in. Yeah? Not to mention AJ's footwork. AJ's is too quick these days. When AJ wants to run around the place, he's very hard to stop, as Ruiz found out. You've got to be like Mike Tyson to stop that kind of AJ. You've got to be super on your job coming forward. And I've never seen Usyk do that. So, again... We'll find out anyway. 